one of the founding mothers of feminist theology has died. Rosemary Radford Ruther was among the first scholars to think deeply about the role of women in Christianity, shaking up old patriarchies and pushing for change. Ruther died in California on Saturday at the age of 85 after battling a long illness, according to the theologian Mary Hunt, who announced the death in a statement on behalf of the Ruther's family. Dr. Ruther was a scholar activist par excellence. She was respected and beloved by students, colleagues, and collaborators around the world for her work on eco-feminist and liberation theologies, anti-racism, Middle East complexities, women church, and many other topics, the statement said. Her legacy, both intellectual and personal, is rich bio. The scope and depth of her work and the witness of her life as a committed feminist justice seeker will shine forever with a luster that time will only enhance. In 2002, Luther looked back on her long career during a Harvard Divinity School conference on religion and the feminist movement. In 19. So I was kind of surprised by how galvanized and frightened white men were by the term anger of women. Shut chosen the words carefully. A white Catholic who went on to challenge church dogma and write books like Sexism and God Talk, Luther said she was aware that a young generation of feminist theologians assumed their older, white predecessors were blind to issues of race and class. Luther pushed back, explaining she'd been shaped in part by the black power movement. After earning a doctorate degree in Classics and Patristics, the History of the Christian Church Fathers, at Claremont Graduate University in California, she spent the summer of 1965 in Mississippi with civil rights activists. For the next decade she taught at the historically black Howard University School of Religion in Washington, D. See these experiences led her to interrogate Christian history in a new way, think about church power dynamics and ask questions like, can a male savior save women? This question is not a s. In other traditions you can find goddesses, so why do you worship a male savior? Kwok first redrew others' work when she was an undergrad at the University of Hong Kong. It inspired Kwok's own pioneering study of women and Christianity in Asia. She says Ruther was among the first scholars to amplify women's voices throughout Christian history, all the way back to the time of Jesus.